kind of the doldrums of, um, of, of seasonal food in Sacramento, you know. And, and part of it, I think, is because of the nature of the way the crops grow, and also part of it is the way of the industry. You know, um, farmers are going to pull up their, their winter crops and they're going to prepare their land for those, those big summer things. You know, right now we're, we have fava beans, fava greens. We also have the green almonds. We have our friends at uh, Kingbird Farms. Uh, they're, they're a really small farm um, out in Galt. Mike mentioned to me that he had green almonds and um, I kind of looked around and people that did in Turkey and the Eastern Mediterranean and we started playing with them in the kitchen and, and realized they were an amazing product. I mean, it was a great thing and a great way to celebrate spring. I mean, we're trying to make great food for people to enjoy every day, but there's a certain element in everyone in the kitchen here. Tony, Chris, Kelly, myself, my partner Janelle. There's a little bit of it about that's just about what we think is right too. So, you know, we're, we're, it's what makes a business like this challenging. Is you, you want to do the right thing, you want to have great employees, you want to bring great product to the plate. And so figuring out how to bring it all to the table and, and be able to keep a business afloat I think that's part of the challenge of a modern farm-to-table restaurant. If you're going to use the real thing, and you're going to use real labor to, to, to manipulate the real thing, you, you're going to have to have a real game plan <laughs> because it's a lot of work. And as everyone knows, you go to the grocery store, you see.